Now, Polymers Inc. is excited to introduce to you polydimethyl siloxane. Okay, so maybe we're not really trying to sell you this polymer. But now that we've got your attention, we will be telling you some facts about it, including why is it interesting, what is it used for, what is its structure, and how is it made. PDMS is a very versatile polymer and can have a huge range of textures, from liquid to solid, depending on how it is prepared. This means it can be used in so many different ways and in all of your favorite products. It can be used in shampoo as a lubricant, in biomedical device parts when it is in solid form, and it is even used as an additive to help Silly Putty be elastic and flow in interesting ways. On the labels of some of these products, you may have seen PDMS referred to by one of its other names, dimethicone. PDMS is well suited to situations where a non-flammable, inert, and see-through polymer is required. But what gives PDMS all these interesting properties? PDMS is a linear polymer, which means that it forms long chains of repeated units bound to two other units each. The repeated unit is shown here in the brackets, and N represents that this unit could be repeated many times. PDMS can have different lengths of chains depending on how it is prepared. Shorter chains result in the polymer being more liquid, while longer chains lead to the polymer being more solid. This is because longer chains have reduced mobility from their entanglements. So, how is PDMS made? PDMS is a synthetic polymer, meaning it is not derived from natural sources. Dimethyl dichlorosilane is hydrolyzed by water and is then able to polymerize with other molecules of DMDCS. Essentially, what this means is that one of the chlorine groups on the DMDCS molecule gets replaced by the oxygen and hydrogen atoms of a water molecule. The electrons on the oxygen are then able to form a bond with the silicon atom of another DMDCS molecule, releasing another chlorine. These reactions keep happening, eventually resulting in long chains. What else makes PDMS so interesting? Cross-linking is when one polymer chain connects with surrounding chains of the same polymer. During production, if there are fewer cross-links made, then PDMS will act more like a liquid. If there are more crosslinks made, then PDMS will act more like a solid because of the reduced mobility of the chains. In terms of cost, PDMS is easy and cheap to manufacture industrially. PDMS is naturally hydrophobic but can turn hydrophilic when it gets chemically treated with silanol to be used in more applications than it would in its hydrophobic state. Additionally, PDMS is biocompatible and degrades easily without any negative environmental effects. Now that you know about PDMS, hopefully you'll start seeing it in the world around you. Check out these sources if you want to learn more.